hey i wanted to shoot a quick video kind of summarizing what i'm thinking in terms of the september ftx the area of operation um, will be gooch gap and we'll access gooch gap via highway 60 uh, and then most of y'all are familiar or probably all of y'all watching this are familiar with this road that comes in at woody lake this gravel dirt road run you down to gooch gap so we'll park down to gooch gap um, the way i envision the day is that for part of the morning we'll have some classroom review time down here at gooch gap we'll go over things like plotting coordinates um, magnetic versus uh, grid azimuths um, just a few of the basics some of the things that they'll utilize um, when they go out later in the day and I see this as two prong. One will be a guided land navigation exercise where we'll probably move as a single group, but we'll let the new people take turns being the point person where they have to find the next point or find the next feature or travel the next route, uh, coupled with an experienced person with them to help them out. So if they're if they have experience, then it'll be good practice for them. If they're completely clueless then we'll walk them through and they'll learn a lot. Um, and as a group, we'll have plenty of opportunities to show them terrain, look at the map, find your location, where do you think we are on the map, plot, plot where we are right now, or plot this coordinate. So it'll be very interactive, but we will give each new member an opportunity to lead the team uh, and uh, make some decisions and kind of be in the, uh, uh, the hot seat a little bit. So the area that I'm leaning toward is operating out of Gooch Gap um, along um, the Appalachian Trail and the old Appalachian Trail between Gooch Gap and probably realistically not as, probably not even as far over as Devil's Kitchen, but possibly this far west. So it's the area between Devil's Kitchen and Gooch Gap. So looking at this map right now, this is the, the classic USGS topo map that still is out there and people still have access to it. And you can see the AT coming out of Gooch Gap and there's a little side trail that leads to the old shelter. Uh, then it takes a, a dog leg up here north and then back down to crosses over Blackwell Creek at this trail junction and it comes down to this footbridge for Devil's Kitchen. So that's what that map shows. And of course, the reality is it's not that way at all anymore. So if I go over here and uh, I'm going to switch over, this is this this map is a newer map. It's a National Geographic Trails Illustrated map, which I know is is out there being used. Not as detailed as our topo maps, but it still shows the Appalachian Trail uh, coming out. And when I I'll go back and forth so you can see where you know it's pretty much in line with the old one there's a little bit of a difference here but at some point um, in this area right here it diverges where the old topo shows the old AT going up north and the Nat Geo shows the AT pretty much heading due west uh, and then crossing over Blackwell Creek at a completely different location than the old AT did joining back up and it looks like uh, the old AT crossed the footbridge the Nat Geo shows the AT crossing a little further north um, so there's a lot of discrepancy obviously the trail reroute but I've even noticed that there's a you know there's places here where it's it's a uh, hundred two hundred meter off even where it shows trail where it looks like it might be paralleling or maybe it's just a mapping issue. I don't know, um, but you can, you know, you can see that there is a there is a difference, you know, in in offset even down in here. Now, uh, if I switch over to a Gaio topo map, which is um, also more current. So here I'm switching the net or the USGS, and then switching over to this. Uh, Gaia map and you can I'll, I'll have them both here um, so you can kind of see both of them so the dash the bigger dashes is is the USGS showing the trail smaller dash is the 
the Gaia, but even there down here, just west of Gooch Gap, there's a pretty big difference in where it even shows the trail. Um, so I don't know if that's really, if the old trail really was a 100, 200 meter off here, or if this for some reason is just a, a mapping error. But my intent is to walk the group out of Gooch Gap sometime late morning, early afternoon, depending on how the kind of the classroom stuff goes. And, you know, give them some points along the way. So maybe this little hilltop on this finger could be a point that we'll go to. Uh, there again, walking along the trail. I want to figure out um, where the trail splits off, if we can find it. Um, and if we can't find it, we can still navigate up here along this finger where the old trail is. Uh, so we could have points there for them to find these hilltops. This saddle obviously is a good feature to show them. And if possible, if there is any sign of the trail, we could walk the trail back down toward this trail junction here, which I'd like to find and see if it's still visible. Uh, and ultimately walk down along where we intersect the, the new trail again. Uh, and then circle back, come visit the, the, uh, the new Gooch Gap shelter and um, ultimately loop back down here to our parking. So depending on timing, if we get over here on the kind of in the, on the western edge of the area and there's still a lot of time left, uh, we could go a little bit further to the uh, west toward Devil's Kitchen. But my guess is this, is, this will be a, a pretty time intensive because we'll be stopping and talking and letting them do some things and plot points and shoot asthmas and uh, we'll be showing them terrain. So my guess is this will consume for sure the afternoon, if not part of the morning, just doing this loop through here. Um, so that's in a nutshell what I'm looking at. Uh, I would love to, if we have enough people, I'd love to be able to set up somebody down here in a support role with communication. So if we run into problems, there's, uh, there's a way that someone we could reach out to someone here. I'd like the comm team. Uh, uh, Eddie, Hal, uh, Dell, if you could put together a communication plan as far as repeaters, it would be uh, accessible. Um, obviously, if we get up here along this finger and something goes terribly awry, you know, closer access up here to where the Mount Airy Church is and that road dead ends in the cemetery, that's pretty close access there. If we had to evacuate somebody um, in a shorter distance and have, have a vehicle or emergency vehicle meet us up there. Um, anyways, just give me some feedback uh, if you're seeing this video um, and you have some input on this, uh, just shoot it back to me and, and this is just shared with uh, some of the, uh, the core old group. I haven't shared this with the new membership. So give me your feedback. Talk to y'all later.